Hello and welcome back to VCT Pacific Breakdown with Lothar. That's me, the VCT EMEA analyst guy that somehow is doing VCT Pacific content. But hey, I love Valorant and today we'll be doing T1 versus Paper Rex. In this executor that will be breaking down from Paper Rex, there was a spanner in the works being put by the opponents and that threw Paper Rex off their plan. But they reacted, they were proactive, they changed and improvised what they have to do. And I would like to explain to you how they did it. The plan from Paper Rex is to go through Dish first. This is why you see two duelists coming in from the north side. The plan is to use the elevated position there to maximize the satchels and the bunny hopping potential from both of those duelists to be on site first. Then the secondary hit would go from A main. Typically, teams are doing it the other way around, so the goal here is to catch T1 off guard. Typically, when the player is coming from A main, the late hit from Dish is being guarded by the player from Rope, so it's a little bit more reactive from the defenders than proactive. Now, let's see what actually happens in the round. Now, the three players from A main, they're gonna rely on the pressure being done by the duelists coming from the Dish side. And now, the, when the attack from the duelists will happen on the side, it should distract the player that is standing right now in a main so once that happens they will push through the three supporting players for that position the problem is right here saya player uses both his roomba and his pain shows to slow down the players from dish which essentially distracts the bridge player because of that he's currently aiming at dish supporting saya player and that leaves one player alone in a main Obviously, Paper Rex doesn't see through walls, so they don't know that, but it puts a little bit of a dent in their plan, because when we rewind towards this A side execute, you will see that only Davai is peeking through this area. How come? In a game like Valorant, when the decision making has to be done in an instant, sometimes it's not gonna be ideal. And that's one of those situations where Devi is peeking, like wide swinging through a main against the jet player that is, as he's assuming, there's only one player here. So he's taking like a 50 50 fight that is a little bit boosted by the Steam Beacon. So maybe he has a higher odds than 50 50, right? There's also a Breach Stun that is supporting him, but he's already peeking through because he knows that he has to take the gunfight right this moment when the player from A side is being busy with the dish players if they hesitate if they don't sp take the space on a side that's most likely gonna be happening a rotation already through the b side and they will not have only one player potentially on the a main if ban wins this gunfight he's gonna dash away into the corridor behind him and there's 100 percent chance that there's no trade and also a very high chance of actually defending the side from the two duelists coming late from dish so the fight takes the gunfight and wins it enables the entire push through down sense and now you can see that the vine also makes sure that no one is peeking through ropes so now all of this pressure that is happening from simultaneously three different direction completely wrecks t1 so even though paper Rex were relying on the duelists to take the mobility from the elevated area and use the satchels to go top side use the bunny hopping around to make sure that they distract the defenders they had to change their game plan and it was really successful because sometimes you just have to take the gunfights that you don't want to now let's jump in to a retake from t1 as you can see right here there are very powerful ults available the breach and the brimstone but also killjoy ult are all available to, for the defenders and that's an easy peasy for the retake now to avoid that easy peasy retake from the defenders attackers have to bait out the ultimates if possible while doing the plant pay attention to the breach that is now jumping towards the site he's gonna go towards the default corner area to start planting to kind of bait out if possible carpus brimstone ultimate now this will not happen and because of that something even more important happens from the defenders you're gonna see a stun and painters combo on dice insanely well read by the defenders by t1 because the ping from the spike was in actual corner and i'm almost certain that they didn't hear the change of the position from the breach towards dice and they just read it that 
the player will try to avoid the brimstone ultimate so they change the stun and the pain shell combo for the other plant location that was you know not baited for the brimstone ultimate so not only t1 didn't use the brimstone ultimate for to deny the plant but also essentially denied the plant with two other pieces of utility that are not as important as carpus brimstone ultimate and now after the brimstone smokes dissipated from jenny there's only one smoke left so there was a very high chance that munchkin can just swing after that pain shell and get an easy kill to deny the plant now the patience is even more important from t1 for the later stage of this round so now this brimstone ultimate from the attackers mind freak doesn't really want to use it this would be a perfect utility to have it in post plant but since they lost the spike on site they have to use other pieces of utility to make sure that they can recover the spike and plant so this is a necessity from paper regs well but it has to be sacrificed when that happens it opens up the site for the plant and makes sure that t1 now has to retake with the ultimate now this is a perfect read why now why do i say read well the thing is pay attention to mind freak mind freak is currently in the underground so he's making a lot of sound while going through the underground area and that enables the defenders to choose the moment to strike it's literally perfect because what they achieve with this when they know that one player is in the underground he is not gonna be able to help during this retake so from a 4v4 situation right here we go down to a 4v3 situation because mind freak well with the defenders don't know which player it is but mind freak is not able to help because he's giving away sound cues that he's running in the underground area so now the smoke from the defenders make sure that they can just go through the area of jenny to cascade with the ultimate from breach and take the side while they have the possible advantage the moment is just very well read by t1 and enables sire player to double satchel on site the flash as you can see here is gonna go towards the tower right here from zeta goes towards the tower to make sure that the player on site cannot be traded when sire player takes this site and it's really awesome how aggressive they're taking this space but also how decisive they are with their decision making well played t1 hope you all enjoyed this vct pacific breakdown with me and see you guys next time